going to be doing another tutorial on how we can record our sessions in Apache Guacamole. Um, a lot of you requested in my last two videos about Apache Guacamole on um, me creating a video on you to be able to record your user's sessions. It is pretty straightforward, so we're just going to dive straight into the video. So once you have installed your Apache Guacamole and you created your users, there are several reasons why you may want to record your user sessions, either to monitor what the users are doing, or you just want to make sure that every time your administrators or you go onto your servers and make changes, you can be able to go back and fix these changes if they break something. Okay. Um, in this case, we're working with Apache Guacamole, which is free okay and this works for ssh remote desktop vnc and all the protocols that apache guacamole supports um, so the first thing we want to do is go on to the apache guacamole um, page and download the extension guacamole history recording storage okay once you download that it is going to download as a zip file as you can see on here, and if I double click, it is going to um, unzip that file. And in here, we have a guacamole history jar file. Okay. So, what you want to do is log into your Apache guacamole via SSH. And you want to go, um, if you use the script on my last video to install Apache guacamole, you want to go into the cd etc slash guacamole directory okay and you want to cd into the extensions tab or uh, folder sorry and you want to paste that uh, you want to copy that guacamole history jar file into this folder okay so you'll be using sftp and you will copy that file into that folder. Um, I'm not going to do that in this video because I, um, I, I'm assuming that you know how to copy and move files around in Linux. Um, so we're going to leave that on there. Okay. So once you have that configured, the next thing you want to do is go back into your guacamole, your etc guacamole folder, and you want to open guacamole.properties. Okay. Once you open that, you want to come in here and specify your recording path. Okay. So we're going to hold off on this right here. And I'm going to go back into my Apache Guacamole. I'm going to go into my connections. And I have an SSH connection that I created in here. So as you can see, I did input the host name or um, the IP address in this case of my guac of my sorry not guacamole of my SSH server or the machine I'm trying to establish an SSH connection to, and I specified the port to twenty two because I'm not using any custom um, SSH ports. If you're using a custom SSH port, you put that in there. Okay. Um, I have this guacamole or um, dollar sign guacamole username in here because I don't like typing my username multiple times. If you wanted to do the same, you can, but I'm just going to take that off for this tutorial so I can be prompted for the username and password. Okay. Um, so the next place we want to go to is down here to screen recording. So what you want to change here is put in the recording path that you want to use for Apache Guacamole. If you did not want to use a specific path, you can do uh, select the option automatically create the recording path and Guacamole will do that for you. But in this case, we're going to specify a path because um, I have a path in here. I'm going to LS. Um, I have a path in here that I created media share slash remote okay uh, sorry media share slash remote as you can see using the ls command that folder or directory is empty there's nothing in there okay 
um, so you can create yours um, I will just in the in case you didn't know how to create a folder or directories in Linux you use the command make t um, and then the directories name okay so we're not gonna go deep into that because I assume you know how to create directories for this video so once you have the directory once you know the directory that you want to uh, use for your recording you're gonna put that in here you want to make sure that you use the ch own command or uh, you want to make sure that you give Apache um, guacamole the right permissions to be able to um, record and delete files in that directory okay so you want to give the correct permissions i'm going to this is the official apache documentation um, i'm going to put this documentation in the description below for you to follow that so you can see here once you create your folder in this case they're using the folder valid guacamole recordings you want to make sure you give uh, ownership of the folder to tomcat and guacamole okay and you want to also make sure you give them the permissions of 2750 which is the correct permissions for them to be able to do this recording so i already did all of that okay so now we go back into our apache guacamole and we've put in our path in this case i'm using the media share remote directory and then the next thing you need to do is you want to use the naming convention um, the token the history UUID this way guacamole can identify specific recordings um, so I'm gonna go back here for a second as you can see on here if I go to my history you can just see that it shows the username that connects the date the time and the duration the connection name the IP address but it doesn't show the recordings because I don't have any recordings on there. Okay. For you to make the recordings show up in here, you want to make sure that in the connections, after you've inputted the recording path, you want to put the record set the recording name for it to be history UUID. That way Guacamole can remember the history um uuid and tie it to the user account that um was responsible for the connection okay so you just need to copy that and paste it in here and once you do that you just save that and you're going to go back into your home page you try to establish the connection okay it is going to ask you for a username you put that and a password in my case i put in my password here and i was able to successfully log in into the ssh um, ubuntu server okay i can run a couple of commands in here okay and once those commands are run or they're done see there's nothing in there I can now exit to terminate my connection and if I go back to the home page go to settings and go to history you can see on here I have the option now in the logs up uh, tab here that says view okay you can either view the recordings on the web page or you can view them out of the web page um, if you have access to that folder in my case i have access to the folder here because um, the drive or the storage space that my apache guacamole is recording the videos on there is an smb share that i mounted onto my linux system you don't have to mount a share you can use your own share or sorry you can use your local Apache Guacamole um, operating the operating system you installed Apache Guacamole on um, the Ubuntu system as long as it has enough space okay um, so in this case I can you can see here I can't view the video because it's in a format that I can com I have to convert to mp4 to be able to view it but in the web UI you just need to click the view option and you can play and watch the recordings right from your web browser 
without needing any additional software or um, to do any conversion. Okay. And now we're going to pause that and we're going to exit from the video. Uh, that's all you need to do to record the Apache um, guacamole user sessions. If you chose to if you choose to convert these videos so you can watch them offline, um, you have to convert them to MP4. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my command line and I'll show you the command to be able to convert these videos to MP4. So the first thing I'm gonna do is CD into um, where I have the file stored. Okay, so that's the to file. be able to convert the file you're just gonna have to use this command and I'll paste in the file name because it's the dragons and enter and once you do that it is gonna encode the video into mp4 format and then you can now um, watch it using an, an any um, video viewing uh, software so if I go back now to that space using my Mac and open that up with VLC you can see that we are now able to watch the video regularly so that brings us to the end of this video um, I hope it helped everyone if you have any questions, do not forget to leave it down in the comment section. Please uh, do like the channel and subscribe.